Good morning, my name is David Schablock, uh, and I'm here to talk about tattoo transfers on silicone skin. Um, if you've consumed my other videos, or, or watched my other videos, or been to the talks at conferences and things like that, you'll know that I'm a big fan of the Papilio tattoos and glued onto Tagaderm. Uh, it's great, and it works great. Uh, I've been talking about that for a little while. Not my idea, but it's something that I share out, that I learned, and it's, it's a great, valuable trick. Um, at IMS in, uh, IMSH in San Antonio, uh, one of the comments I got on uh, my talk was, well, that's great with Lairdal, but what about all the rest of the skins? And that really got me thinking about it and uh, trying to find a way around it. Um, because for the Lairdal PVC skins and for the Lairdal um, like TPE for Sim Baby Classic and stuff, they work great. You can simply peel them off hopefully easier than I'm doing right now but you can peel them off you have a bruise that goes on quick and comes off even quicker uh, and I've got videos for that so we're not going to get into that today but what about silicone skins so as we've talked before and uh, a lot of you know the only thing that sticks to silicone is silicone so um, you know, other prosthetic glues like um, the Prosade or Spirit Gum, anything like that that you're used to using on like latex prosthetics or anything like that, uh, and Tegaderm just doesn't stick. It doesn't stay. And it's very frustrating. So I get a lot of questions about what will stick. Um, and uh, through networking like I do and talking to everybody, we found a few good contenders. Um, the first of which that... Uh, friend of mine in Florida told me about was Mepitac tape and it has a silicone glue now it's only a temporary silicone tack so you're not going to peel these off and use them a bunch of times but it's also not going to permanently bond so it is a semi flesh colored tape and it has a silicone glue to it and you can get it all sort of widths um, I believe this is the uh, one and a half inch and uh, this is what I use because, you know, I want more surface area. If you need something wider, you're going to have to layer in two pieces and things like that. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll keep the backing on it and I will lay it down and tape it down and transfer over a tattoo or a prosthetic or something like that over top of it because um, you can get other glues to stick to this. But the nice thing is the glue that they use will stick to skins like You've got a Gamard skin here, you've got an eye stand here, um, and it sticks pretty darn well. So I know a lot of people don't like get, or can't get a lot of things to stick to the face of the eye stand over here. Um, and this is a uh, Gamard skin. and it sticks pretty well. And all I've done is I've had these in storage so they weren't the cleanest. Um, cleaned them up with a little bit of soap and water, some Dawn. Um, I didn't even hit them with acetone or 99% alcohol or anything like that. Um, but it sticks pretty darn well. Uh, another one that I found was this tape and all I did was I found um, on Amazon I wanted a clear silicone tape because you know mannequins like people come in all different pigment tones and things like that and you know this kind of stands out now it's still going to be a learning objective so it really doesn't matter but I'm just being picky so the nice thing about this is it is clear and you can still transfer things to it so I find this one sticks pretty well once you might get twice out of the Mepitac tape but don't count on it just look at this stuff as a stick once but this stuff is clear so I started testing and seeing if I could transfer a lot of the same tattoos over to it. Um, with the Papilio, the Papilio brand, and they've changed their packaging um, so it's not as uh, you know colorful. But remember, you have to make sure you're buying the tattoo tack in addition. Um, tattoo tack is one of the only glues that I find that will not destroy the image once you've printed it over to the transfer transfer paper. Um, I was talking at a one conference and uh, thought I had tested it and tried a glue stick on it and it just stripped the image right off. 
Uh, I'm testing other cheaper glues that you don't have to buy the tattoo tack. It's not very expensive. Again, it's just sometimes you may forget or you may not have it or you didn't think to buy it. Um, so I'm trying to test other ways of doing it. Also recently, uh, it's been harder to get this stuff. They've actually switched their supplier. So I'm trying to research another brand other than the Papilio. But again, for more information on this stuff to Tegaderm, there's another video or two on that. But a lot of people will ask me, well, where do I get the images? Um, traditionally, we have just gone on Photoshop, done a Google image search, and um, pulled down an image, fuzzed the edges in Photoshop, and just done enough to you know meet the learning objective and move on. Um, but I also like these a whole lot. Um, my light's going to be a little glary on it. This is a set of tattoo transfers, um, just like we all used as kids, or we've put on, them on our kids, by a company called Tinsley Transfers. Um, again, no, I don't get any money, any discounts, anything by talking about anybody's product at this point. Um, so I just talk about it because I love it. So images are pretty darn good. And I mean, they're not, you know, Oscar worthy, but they meet a learning objective very quickly. And the really nice thing is a lot of them have multiple tattoos in it. Um, so that's got 17, that's got 17, that one's got 8. And if you've noticed, I picked them up from a local supplier, but they're about the same price on Tinsley's website, and their shipping is quick, it's great. I just ordered a whole bunch tonight. Um, five bucks for this whole sheet. You can't beat that. There is another company called um, Twilight Creations, and they make some absolutely beautiful, drop-dead gorgeous stuff. Uh, I got these from Motion Picture Effects um, out in California. They're a German company, Twilight Creations, that makes these. Um, and, and they're absolutely beautiful. I mean, if you look at that, you put that on a mannequin, it's going to look very, very real. Um, the drawback is five times the price. So it's about $35 for these sheets. So I tend to stick with the Tinsley because they work, they're cheap, and, and they're great. Um, this is one of the Tinsley's, the lacerations that I transferred over to the um, clear silicone tape. And uh, I did this some time ago. But again, all you gotta do is transfer it over there. Maybe you put a little blood gel on top. And I did this a while ago and it's been transferred and it's been or it's been in cases and stuff like that and it doesn't look like it's sticking real real well on that edge there. So um, I guess the learning point on this one is don't roll it up and stick it in the box like I did. But uh, overall it's going to stick. I'd put a little blood gel on it, a little liquid blood or something like that and it'll work fine. Um, then we've got like a simple bruise that we're going to transfer over to a Mepitac tape. And I'm going to do this right now just to show you. This is just as simple as you know when you're putting tattoos on your kids or when we were kids way back when. So all I'm going to do is take the protective coating off, like so, and I'm going to, there's lots of glues you can use. Um, I keep it full, and I grabbed a glue stick. There's a little bit of a tack on there, so you might not even need to use this, but I just like to use this. And this is the glue stick that's um, purple and it goes clear when it's dry. I'm going to be a bit impatient and not actually wait for it to go dry. We'll see if that messes it up. But I'm going to transfer it over like so. Stick it down. Got a little bit of water right there and a paper towel. And you just want to soak that paper. So what this is, is it's got a um, release agent sprayed on it. And we're hydrating that release agent to go ahead and release the image from the paper. They call it a water slide paper. Um, so you just want to really saturate that until the uh, image freely moves off. So I'm just going to dab it like that. And move this way out of the way. Okay. Uh, and that, while that's hydrating, I'm going to talk about another thing that I found. Um, I talked to a friend in Texas. So 
Curad Band-Aids, and this, this very type has a silicone adhesive to it. And so that's why it says truly ouchless silicone. Um, I wouldn't do a tattoo transfer to it, and I'll tell you why. The reason is it's got a fibrous backing, so it's not as smooth as the other ones. And this is, I bought the biggest I could get. So, you can't quite tell, but it's a textured back, it's not smooth, um, it's actually got a little bit of fibers, um, like a fabric band-aid. Uh, but this would be very, very good to maybe tape a couple to and do a silicone buildup of a laceration. And then you're basically, or you could actually glue a prosthetic straight to this uh, with any sort of prosthetic adhesive, and then you're basically making that transfer into a peel and stick. Um, and it comes off just as easy. So it's just like the Mepitac tape. When you're done, you peel it off, and it's done. So it may stick one more time. I wouldn't count on it at all. But, yep, that's sticking just fine. It sticks a lot better than a Tegaderm does. So, see if uh, this is ready to come off yet. There we go. Got a little impatient, tore the image just a tiny bit right there, but it still will work just fine. Now, I usually hedge my bets. And um, you really want to wait till this is dry, but I'd grab a Tegaderm and sandwich on top of that. You probably don't need to, but it's what I do with all of the, um, whenever I glue one to Tegaderm, I always put a Tegaderm right on top of it. That protects the image a little more, okay? But I haven't needed to yet with the Mepitac tape. I'm just in the habit of doing it. So again... We can make these up, you know, a week, a month ahead of time. Um, then they are simply peel and stick bruises. Again, we're not movie makeup artists. We are here to meet a learning objective and move on. So you just want enough that the learner is going to say, that ain't right. Okay? So, you know, if the case is written like it's a motor vehicle accident, um, they're going to see that as something's wrong. And you could actually trim around it to make just the image um, come out. Uh, it's going to make it a little harder to peel off the backing, but that's something I would probably do. So, quick, easy, and uh, it's a bruise that will come off just as easy as it went on. So when you're done with the case, you peel these off, throw them away, and you move on. Um, again, you can do all sorts of things. These are, again, the ones I stick to Tegaderm, but um, this is a uh, nicotine patch we do for a nicotine overdose case. The only thing with this is, notice, it's backwards, or it should be on the video, but when you print these, you've got to print them backwards because when you transfer it over, it's going to flip. But we make all kinds of hives. We'll do petechiae, and again, these are all just images we've taken off the internet. Um, fuzz the edges so there's not a sharp edge, and um, print them off on the Papilio stuff. So, that's all I've got for you tonight. Um, have a great night. We'll be talking more. Thank you.